Hello. Welcome back to my channel. We took a little break. We took a little hiatus for a while. I don't know. We're just out here living life. And it feels amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Coming to you today with a review. Um, I know it's been a while, but I found this product and I'm so excited to try it. I mean, obviously, as everyone knows, we're in this pandemic situation. I don't know where you are, but my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family and just it's some harrowing times. We're in some harrowing times. Yesterday though, we did get our first black female vice president and we will we will celebrate that. But um, things are still closed. Things are still very much locked down. Um, I don't know about you, but my entire sort of like self-care, mm, spa day, mm, yes, that, 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 all those little fixings to feel like that one, okay? I'm talking nails, lash extensions, eyebrows threaded, actual official barber to cut my hair. All of it is currently on lockdown. I'm in London right now. And, um, I'm here for a master's program that more to come later if I end up doing a video on that but yeah everything's locked down and so the onus is now on me to do whatever I feel I need to do in order to feel like the one okay and I mean I already do feel like her to be completely honest but sometimes you just want to embellish a little bit you just want to highlight some things you know what I'm saying something I used to do a lot that I don't I stopped after a while because I just wanted to save money was actually tinting my eyebrows when I got them plucked or plucked Ooh, the 90s when I got them threaded and um, I really liked the results when I tinted them but after a while I just kind of fell off of it I never had like ample eyebrows like, my sister my oldest sister has eyebrows for days you know, when she was younger, when we were, you know, children or whatever, she used to get made fun of for it, but not anymore. Cause now, you know, the thick brows, there was in, all right? And they have been for a while. And she's already, she's always been gorgeous. But she has those thick eyebrows to just frame her face, all that. I've never had, I've never had a lot of eyebrows. She took all the eyebrow hairs out of the womb with her when she left, so. By the time it got to me, it was like, here you go. The product that I found um, when I was like doing some shopping was this bad boy right here. It is a Maybelline Tattoo Brow Easy Peel Off Tint. It's basically an at-home tint situation. And I just didn't find that many reviews on it, but I was so intrigued and really wanted to try it out. So I felt like, why don't I get it? I'll do a review on it. I'll, you know, give you the deets and um, see how it goes. I'm a little terrified, okay? I'm a little terrified because what I don't want is to look like I just took a marker to my face. Well, things might be locked down, but like I go outside. Like when I walk my dog, I don't need people thinking. I'm a little intimidated, but we're gonna try it out. The reviews that I did see, they all turned out pretty good. I think the biggest sort of determining factor as to how it turns out is really the color that you get and if it's like you know if it complements your tone your complexion that good stuff i believe there were five different actually i think there were three different shades that i could have gotten there was like light brown medium brown and dark brown and i also noticed that they're called different things depending on where you purchase them so um when i was watching reviews from like europe and africa they were like numbered and then like other places they were called the different colors this is medium brown and i'm gonna make sure that the packaging is on here so you can see that and if you're in a place where they use numbers just try to align it best as best as you can and if you find it and you want to leave like a comment then and ask me if it's if I think it's start one, then feel free to do that. Basically what you do, according to the instructions, is you apply it, you let it dry for 20 minutes or up to two hours if you want three days of wear, and then you peel it off from the inner to outer brow. Now, I have a two hour lecture coming up that I'm about to log into, so I felt 
why not? We're gonna try this now. We're gonna leave it off for two hours and then I'm gonna come back for the peel and reveal. <laughs> <laughs> they just come to me, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty, um, that's the consistency right there. I'm very, I'm scared. I don't even know if I should do that. I, I feel like I should do this in a real mirror and not a camera. Oh my God. I saw online that there were like some techniques that people were using where they would like, not leave the entire thing on for the full two hours. They would leave the, you know, body and the tail on and then peel off this area closer to the inner, inner part of the brow in order to create like a nice sort of ombre effect. I'm not feeling that confident, but while I do this, I'll just talk to you. Oh, that's crazy. I swear for God, if I end up looking crazy, Maybelline's gonna hear from me. Anyway, um, so my 30th birthday was two days ago. And I don't know, like I feel so good about 30 and I've been saying this for probably a year now, probably two years of my life, to be completely honest, because I just feel like at 30, you are who you are and like people just accept what that is. I don't know what it is, but like, I feel like when someone's 30, for better or for worse, when they hit that age, you're just like, you know what? That's who they are. You don't have people who are trying to make you something you're not, which then alleviates the pressure to be something you're not. And full transparency, I mean, I struggle. I definitely struggle with that. And I have it for a while. And there's been so many relationships and friendships that I've entered into and then eventually, you know, eventually we sort of went our separate ways and everything. And I think a big part of it is just me thinking that I could just be whoever the person needed me to be as opposed to just being myself. I'm not I'm not too proud to say that I can very very easily sort of feel like I can fit into whatever blank a person needs me to do, needs me to be. But the problem with that is that that ha that's going to come to an end no matter what. It's just go it's definitely going to come to it's natural end and that's not necessarily a bad thing but it is just what's going to happen when any part of a relationship is falsified because relationships need to be built on honesty and i've always always admired people who are just kind of like who they are and i've always felt like i'm gonna get there eventually in my life but i'm not there yet something about being 30 just kind of makes me feel like i'm there like you really can't tell me nothing I'm really grown. I'm grown, grown now. Like, you really can't tell me anything. Like, if you disagree with what I'm doing in my life, then that's really weird because you have your own life to focus on and so do I. And so that's what we're gonna do. That's what I thought 30 was gonna feel like. And sure enough, I'm here. It's been a whole 48 hours in this 30, 30 year old vibe. And I fully, I feel like I'm embodying exactly what I anticipated. And maybe it's cause I put it out there. I don't know but yeah I just feel really freaking good I'm in a city that I love I literally have like I just I'm 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 not found wanting you want to be found wanting and I'm not wanting right now and there's really nothing and this is like you know glory to God you know what I'm saying glory to the most high you feel me because he provides and that's it that's, that's all I gotta say about right now. I'm really happy to be here. And we're gonna live this life. We're gonna try to make good impact and we're gonna, we're gonna move on. Oh my God. Ah! Okay. All right. We're gonna clean this, clean these lines up and we're going to, and we're gonna pray that this professor doesn't make us turn our cameras on. Cause I, I really like this one. 
Are they sisters? Okay, I think this one needs to come down a little bit. I look a little bit like Betty Boop, but cool. I'm gonna go to class, literally pray that I don't have to turn my camera on because I don't even know how I would explain this if I did and be back here for the peel off in two hours. Mwah. Okay, okay, it's time. I did, I cheated a little bit, okay? I cheated just a little bit because I was in class and I was like, maybe I'll just try to, you know, ombre, I don't know if ombre is the right word, but peeling off part of it a little earlier. So I did do that. Luckily, I didn't have to put my camera on at any point because I look crazy. Look at that. First impressions before I finish peeling this off. First, it is so easy to peel off. Way easier than I expected it to be. Way easier. I expected it to feel like one of those peel off face masks and I hate I hate those. I hate those masks. I feel like they're just ripping out every little hair, piece of peach fuzz, every sin off of your skin. And I'm not here for that at all, especially not on hairs that are honestly so valuable per hair. Lots of money per hair. I don't have enough of them to go around like that. So, I mean, I just, I just like touched the inner part of this and it started to peel off. And it's definitely like a skin and eyebrow hair tint because as you can see, as you can see, that's, that's just skin. There's like no eyebrow hair here. And it seems to have kind of like shrunken into itself a bit or like collapsed a bit. So I'm just gonna keep peeling it off and hope that I don't look crazy. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty, yeah, you, it feels, it doesn't feel at all like it's ripping any hair out. It's a little sticky, but oh, I take that back. I do see a couple, sorry if this is gross, but I'm here to bring you the truth. I see some hairs in there. I, I haven't been to the, to an eyebrow person in a while, so maybe it's probably, maybe it's for the best that those came off, but you know, it is worth mentioning because we want to look like we have more brows and we don't want that to cost our brows in order to do so. I would say a substantial, I mean like, I don't want to scare y'all. It's not like it's waxing my brows or anything, but I'm getting more eyebrow hair pulled out than I feel super comfortable with or confident in but then look at that like that's a brow but again i don't want looking like i have brows to cost the few brows that i have um this is terrible because i just i was just bragging about how easy it is to pull it off but that area was mostly skin so that makes sense this is not hard to pull off but again if you're like me, if you're like me and don't have just like brows to go around, which if you did, I don't know why you get this product, then you don't want that. Let's just see. So it's not too bad. I can only see like, I can only see like three hairs that got pulled out of that situation. I don't have all of the product off yet because I might just, I might just go wash my face or something after I finish this video to really get that off there without having to tug anymore on, on my brows. But, okay, listen, listen. I don't wanna wash my face yet because I do have like foundation on and mascara on and I don't really feel like washing that off right now. I will say that like, I don't hate it. Like they're very prominent. And I do think that when I do go and wash my face, it'll probably kind of like, you know, some of the extra goop will come off and it'll look a bit more like subtle. 
But I mean, let's just do what everyone was doing on these things. Nothing's coming off. For all intents and purposes, these are my brows for the next three days. And that's what the product says. It says it'll last up to three days if you leave it on for two hours. I left like the front part on for I think probably like an hour and a half almost or hour and 20 minutes. And then I peeled that part and then I left it on for another 15 minutes and peeled a little bit more and then left the rest of it on for the full two hours. Just because as I wash my face, I assume it'll kind of fade at a different rate and look even more natural as time goes on. Um, if I remember to do a check-in, I will. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen. Listen. Dude, but I do think that if you just need, like, let's say you just don't want to have to do your eyebrows for a couple days, then this might be, this might be the wave. This might be, I really like this one. I think this one came out all right. This is, what I like about it is that like, other than, other than like, I guess, brushing and maybe putting some setting powder on it, this is generally how I would fill in my eyebrows. Maybe not as intense, but like, this is how I would fill in my eyebrows on a regular basis. And so I can like just wake up and maybe just put some under eye concealer on, some mascara, and then be out the door because I'll feel like my eyebrows are already done and save some time there is what I think will happen, what I hope will happen. And I can 100% with confidence say that I, if you're my complexion, then I would not go any d darker than the medium brown because if this, I, if, if this was like black, 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 I would have to fight me for making the choice of doing this on site. It's pretty good though. And you get a, a decent amount you get a decent amount of product. I believe I spent $12 on it. If, will I buy this again after this bottle is gone? As of right now, I would say no, but stranger things have happened. Will I have finished this bottle? We'll see. If it lasts, if it really does last for like three or more, more days and I feel like I'm spending less time or being a little bit less self-conscious about how my eyebrows look throughout the day because of it, then I'll finish the bottle. And we might even buy another one, but more to come. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video, for tuning in. Um, if you aren't already part of the family, make sure you click that subscribe button because you wanna be, you wanna be. It's, it's, a good, it's a good place to be. We're all really nice, we're positive, we love each other, we do reviews, we talk about life. And yeah, let's hope that this, let's hope that this is a winner. And if it is, and you try it out, I wanna know how it goes. Let me know if you like it, if you didn't like it, what shade you chose, if it was easy for you to find, if it was difficult for you to find. Um, because I don't know if I, I mean like, it was pretty easy to find this in the UK. I don't know where it is in the States, if it's, you know, different if it's just on the shelves, who knows? Uh, but again, I hope you're well, I hope you're staying safe in these really, really insane sort of just astounding times that we are in and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. Okay. I have to come back on here real quick to show y'all, get a little update. All right. I applied the, you know, tattoo brow yesterday, left it on for two hours. Um, I did end up washing my face later that night, obviously. And like, I don't know, y'all tell me what you think. I, I am not seeing the value in spending two hours with this on my face um, for it to look like this the next day. I don't know. I mean, listen, I guess, yeah, you can say they look a little bit darker, maybe. Obviously, that's the product is to like make them darker, but it's just like the drastic difference between washing my face once and I even like tried to go real light on the brows. Like I was like, let me not, because I know this is obviously gonna wash off in three days. Let me not OD on the scrubbing. Barely even really touched it. But I guess this is like the actual the actual result. And what I, I didn't want to just like leave it at where it was yesterday because 
You all know if there's one thing that I don't play with, I will never encourage someone to spend money that doesn't go to a good use or good value or whatever. That's just not it, okay? And it's not like I was even being sponsored anyway, so I really don't have to gas them. So listen, this is after one wash. Now, here's the thing. If I am gonna spend two hours with this on my face, I want it to look like I have browsed for the three days that it says on the box, okay? If it's not going to do that, then I might as well just take the time filling in my brows whenever I want to because this isn't even, listen, the shape that I had yesterday, all that, the structured look so good. I really liked it. This is not that. These just look like, my brows look slightly bushier, which means I still have to go in and, you know, do that little, get me some hairs right around here, do some, you know, concealer sculpting, that kind of stuff. So I just, that's my review, really, honestly. I just have to come back in here and make sure that the truth was known, okay? I definitely will not be repurchasing this. And frankly, listen, everyone's gonna have different experiences. Maybe my, maybe my skin was oily, I don't know, whatever. But I definitely wouldn't like, I wouldn't like to sell someone like, you have to get this product, it's amazing, it'll change your life, whatever. It won't, it won't. Us people would know with like very few brows, we're just gonna, it's a harder life and we're just gonna have to live with that. We're just gonna have to live that, okay? To the best of our ability, to the best, as much as we can. So that's my take. That's my take on the, on the Maybelline tattoo brow, um, peel off tint. It's not worth it. I would pass, I would hard pass on it. Probably just gonna use the bottle, maybe. I don't even know, it really just doesn't seem worth it. We'll see what happens, I don't know. But um, if you like this video, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. If you did try it or you still plan on trying it, would love to know how yours turned out, how long it lasted. And also if you see a difference, cause I could just be so focused on yesterday's, you know, yesterday's very dramatic reveal that I'm not fully appreciating how much darker my brows look. My brows were completely bare in the first part of the video. So if you see something that I don't, let me know. Yeah. That's it. Love y'all. Bye.